What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Oh, boy. You know... Wait, you, you pushed the mic away. He felt content and with your, it. And your face... He's done. This is the moment of relief. So that was the I'll one. I'll be back next show. I'm I'm out of here. That was the one. That was it. That was perfection. Uh, well, I mean, huh. my what I huh. came, what I came away from was weird. You know how in some cultures, uh, they all speak one language, but different villages have a maybe like a variant of the okay, language. Sure, sure. So I I think we're all trying to speak scat here. Yes. But then there's like Mike's got his own like version of of the scat language. Jason has his own, which he once again fulfilled mm-hmm. uh, in perfection. Obviously, Excellently. I speak Badingi. So, I mean, I think that we all have our own. I mean, it's 204 episodes. There's not any. There's probably no more words left. No, our dialect is established. Yeah. At this point. Uh, welcome into the spitballers. Really, yeah. really bad English. <laughs> <laughs> Questionable whether yeah. they're actually scads. Jason always have a poo-ha. That's yeah. one of your... That's one of the native. Uh, well, he finishes in that same timbre of that. Yeah, I don't. I I I don't know how to land. What well, no. What I happens mean, is what. The, here's my visualization, just so you guys know. I am paragliding, and it's going okay. well. The boat has pulled me out, and the and the the chute is open behind me. I am up in the air like a beautiful kite, and and I, it is it is. Just going along, right. wind in the hair. My scat is going excellent. Your hair, then, or well, no, like if I had hair, okay, it'd be like okay. oh, so sure. like Fabio wind in the beard, wind in the beard, and <laughs> everything's going great. And then I, I realize like oh, well, this is this is done now. It's not gonna we're, last we're forever. I've, I've detached. I don't know how to get down from this paraglide. And he cuts all the strings. And I, just, I cut the string and fall into the ocean. Did you know that like if you just hold on, it will eventually go down. Yeah, the right ends. But the but the <laughs> organically mus- the music stops. I have to be done. What if I just keep going long after the music is over? It would be a first time. Yeah. Well, stay tuned Could for have been original three episodes from now. Would you rather highway to spell and we're drafting oh, the best fruits on today's show? Which, which th- that's tremendous because it's delicious. The draft. Yeah. Well, just, and fruit. Just fruit. Like it's really really good. Fruit. Uh, Oh, see, no, you need, you got to step back and just, fruit is so Before baked good. goods existed, fruit was good. Well, sure. I mean, but as What's far as. What's making your baked goods better over there? Uh, frosting? It's not vegetables, so that's it's, for sure. It's yeah, you're right. It's probably fruit. Uh, we. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I, and the picks, I mean, the choices. I have a problem you, already today. Too many fruits. Well, I, there are a lot of fruit, but like, I've got the 101, uh-huh. and I have a favorite fruit, by far. But you won't take it because it won't win in the polls. No, I I don't know if it will or not. But I don't I don't think I've ever heard either of you speak too highly of this fruit. Oh, so I think okay. I can, like I want okay. I want to try playing. to. Yeah, you'll we'll we'll be playing that. the game. Yeah, so we'll see. All right. Uh, well, it'll be fun, and uh, we'll get into that shortly. Like I said, my favorite segment, Highway to Spell, obviously on today's show, and uh, you can follow us. Over on Twitter at Spitballers Pod, Jason at Jason FFL, Mike at FF Hitman. I'm at Andy Holloway. Spitballerspod.com is the website. Let's get it going. Would you rather? Sean from Twitter. While house sitting, would you rather kill your friend's plants okay. that they have been growing for years? Ooh. Or their pet hamster. So you're, oh. you're house sitting. You're responsible for keeping the pets alive. What kind of question is this? Yeah, obviously it's the plants. I mean, uh, is it? Uh, okay. I mean, growing. It doesn't matter how many years you've been growing a plant. It's still a plant. Yeah, they're like. Yeah. No one it's harvests. A, although I, I guess uh, specifically hamsters, I would kill. I say, look, a hamster is very replaceable. It, it is very replaceable. That's I mean, like, true. You Do could, you treat it like the goldfish of the land? <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see where right? you're going. Right? You know what I'm saying? Would but, you flush a hamster? Like, is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, 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 I, if I had a hamster, it would be devastating if 
it was uh, uh, consequently uh, murdered by whoever was taking care of it. But the person who's taking care of my hamster, there is a 65% chance they could run to the pet store, get a similar hamster, and I may not notice. Like, that's true. That's that's in the, the range of outcomes here for a hamster. I There's once also, tried to set a hamster free in the wild because I was tired of having it as a pet. So you just tried to kill that, the That's slow. also you, killing a you, hamster. You tried to kill the hamster just a little slower. We set it out We set it out going into the forest because that's where hamsters live. I'm not even joking. Hamsters are from the forest? I don't know why my parents... Did you research this? Of Listen, course not. I don't know why my parents per- where are hamsters permitted this. From? Hamsters are from nowhere. <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> um, but we literally... I set the hamster out. We were so... Hamsters... Public service announcement, never get a hamster. Hamsters are stupid, dumb creatures. They sleep during the day. They're up at night. They want to break out of their cage. They won't use their tubes. They'll bite you if you hold them. They're evil. They'll poop everywhere. Cleaning their cages suck. They are, it's like opting into misery. So I tried to release one into the wild where they okay. live in the wild. And then once I put the, I put it down, I started to walk away like a moment from a movie. Like you're letting the, you know, sure. saying goodbye to the, the creature yep. that needs to live in the wild. Uh-huh. And I got about 10 feet walking back to the car. And then a bird got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I glanced. I had better perspective of where I had set it. And I glanced back, and there, there were snake holes for miles. I mean, I was oh, like, yeah. I was putting it into a snake minefield. And so I picked it back up, and we donated it. Oh, you didn't go like, oh, look at all these hamster holes. Here, go ahead right in, fella. But I don't know how we convinced our parents that this was the best solution. That, it, that is. Why did they let us do that? Like, that's a kid's scheme. That kids pull off, and then when the parents go, where's the hamster? You say, well, we released it. Everybody it's knows not they're involved. what you're supposed to do with a hamster, which is to throw it over the fence into your neighbor's yard. Well, gently <laughs> drop it. Make sure it's still okay. I, I heard Al back there. He was in on that. I can't imagine what I would think if I'm, let's say I'm out camping. And a hamster <laughs> comes up. Like, there's no hamsters in the wild. Just be like, hey, check this out. Look at, the, look at the little hamster. I mean, he has no way to defend himself whatsoever. No way to get food. It can't. I mean, it's just, it's, there's no hamsters in the wild. If, it's a slow death. So don't you, do that. If you have a problem with your neighbor, this is such a, this is such a low key revenge. Because if you, where did these hamsters come from? Well, but think about this. Someone drops a hamster in your backyard. You got to figure out what to do with this. You hamster. have to take and care of the you hamster. You may have to now take care of this yeah. hamster. What if their child comes out? What is the? Can we keep this hamster? Mm. And now they got a hamster problem. That was going to be one of the questions I had. Was it does matter to me if this family was it a kid's hamster or was it an adult's hamster? There's no adult hamster. <laughs> That's not an option. This, is, I mean, no adults get hamsters. No, right? no adults are too smart to get hamsters. That's why the one difficulty in saying okay, plants versus hamster, what's better to kill? No adult would come home, and ever under any circumstance, the plants that they have been growing for years. Thank you for killing them. None that would not happen. Right. But there is a situation where you come home and you go, dude, thank you. You I've been wanting to do this for years. It's not my fault. Hey, little Timmy, it's Uncle Jack that did it. OK, he's the reason you don't have a hamster anymore. You so we all say 20. Hold on. Al, you're, you should have brought this up. We, we've talked about it before on the show. Why is it an Arizona thing? I don't know. I do it, too. But so we all say hamster with a P. Yeah. Hamster. Wait. Oh, I even spelled it with a P. Wait, it's I way to spell on today's show. <laughs> hamster. Hamster. Like hamper. <laughs> but like, it's not. There's no P in the no, word. No, there's not. It's just like a just, hunk of ham. Hamster. Hamster should be more delicious. Um, No, I, I like what you're saying there. And if, if you were like dating somebody and they're like, oh, do you want to see my place? And they had a pet hamster. That's a red, wouldn't that be? That's a red flag. That's a. Mm, yeah. Like, because hamsters don't li- live long enough to be like, this is the hamster from my childhood. Right. It's a new hamster. We all know it is because they don't live that long. Or it is the hamster from their childhood, and it's just been replaced yeah. several times by the parents, and they don't know. Why do hamsters even exist? I don't know. What? Like, it's I mean, the same thing with ferrets. Yeah. Ferrets are hamsters, but they smell. Oh, ferrets. oh, they're the worst. I had a ferret growing up. 
We oh had, no! We had an aviary. You were that kid. What's well, the aviary have to do with the hamsters? Uh, they had to the... feed it to all the birds. No, we had like a big walk-in. Uh, for, but an aviary is a birds. bunch of rodents. You put some. That's where. That's where our. our that's where you kept the uh, ferret. Our ferret lived. You kept in the a... ferret in an aviary. Yes, <laughs> it was Did just it have like wings? just free no. to, to gallivant. Wait, hold on, is an aviary the wrong word here? That, that, that I is, hope so. That's a place for birds. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could put any animals a in large an aviary, right? Cage and enclosure for keeping birds in. <laughs> okay. What is the same enclosure that you put other animals in? Like a rooster paddock? Like a, uh, a coop? Is it like a terrarium? Hey! Oh, okay. There we go. Is there a walk in terrarium? Is that a thing? Samsonite. I was <laughs> way off. Um, anyways, we had a uh, in our backyard this walk-in room and a ferret aviary. It was in the backyard, and it stunk so bad. Yeah, like, your the entire back neighborhood yard stunk because ferrets are how do they awful. S- they are also they, they scratch the so heck bad? out of you. They'll bite you. They're not nice. There's no redeeming quality of a ferret. There aren't actually any childhood pets that are quality other than dogs. Dogs are the best. <laughs> All right. I had to do it. So you Google, why do ferrets stink? Top, top result here from Pet MD. Two buttholes. Ferrets, like other carnivorous animals, have anal glands that secrete a scent particular to their species. Mm. And then, quote, their anal glands are very strong <laughs> smelling scent and territory marking glands. So it they stink. Because they got stank butt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, hold on. Al- and people are like, just come on into my home here, stinky butt. And we're talking about this, and we all know that that ferrets are stupid. But then Al jumps in to our Slack channel, and Al, you said we had two ferrets, and they were dope. Yeah. So what did you do with the ferrets? You what made them? them dope? <laughs> we <laughs> Did you guys? Oh, you have the sinus problems. You probably never smelled them. <laughs> they stunk. But we, we like to bowl with them. We'd set up cans. You would them. bowl them? Yeah. They, like, they loved it. They'd, you throw a hamster, I you bowl a ferret? We would roll the ferret across I, our kitchen floor, knock down cans, and they'd come running back for wait, more. Wait, 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 wait. I, I was, was the door ch- behind you? Like, that's, they're trying to escape. <laughs> no, no. I don't no. think that they enjoyed it. I was making a joke. You can throw a, you can th- roll a ferret? No, you can't roll a ferret. <laughs> you can. You, can. you, you can. cannot. Can you roll you a ferret? You can't legally roll a ferret. That is unbelievable. I don't believe, I think genuinely... You have a made-up memory. I don't think that this <laughs> happened in your youth, but like you had a dream, and it was a great dream. You woke up one day, and it was so realistic, and you're like, "Oh, we were bowling we our bowl. ferrets," <laughs> and then now you think it really happened. This did not happen. I can't believe this story. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I'm sorry, I was watching a video of ferret bowling. Oh man, I got. Oh, no, this is like a made by him. Do? Wow, ferret uh, bowling. Final answer: I'd rather kill the plants. I think I've changed to hamster. I mean, I, I thought at first like, well, you know. But is uh, this execution or or is this just an not ex- feeding? No, it's an it. accident. No, okay. I'm not like twisting the hamster's head off. I'm just, oh no, he's not alive today. Okay. Yeah, and then you just you're say, welcome. Well, you that say, was a uh, journey that we went on. Say, well, he seems to have escaped. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's crafty. Yeah. Okay, I'm Down watching the toilet. a ferret bowl. I'm not watching people. Literally bowl a ferret. I just you better. It's more likely that a ferret could grab a bowling ball and bowl it down a lane than it is that you could bowl it. You could ferret. ball it into oh, a man. ball and roll it like a bowling ball. Peta is on the way. <laughs> oh man! Now they don't care about ferrets. Uh, Bryce <laughs> from Patreon. Old stink butt. Uh, would you rather be the son of the president of the United States? No. Or become close friends with a famous celebrity? One of those sounds awesome. Yeah. And one of those genuinely sounds awful because I I think being the son or daughter of the president of the United States, like that seems seems neat and novel in theory. Like, oh, you know, what, what's that? Is that called the first kid? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the Bruce Willis movie. Uh, but, <laughs> but it's like the expectation of every single thing in your life, the lack of privacy, the mm-hmm. the scrutiny you go out with judgment you go and, out with uh, uh the security the the Forever. Secret service Forever. yeah i mean there's n- what is the redeeming aspect your pops is the president yeah or access to everything forever always i mean you, you you get to write books for for as long as you want i've always thought that the because you have uh you talk about the son of the president i've also thought about you know the kids of the the queen right 
and being in the royal family. They call right. those princes and princes. Right, right. <laughs> and to me, the only thing that would be redeeming about being a part of the royal family or being part of the like presidential thing is growing up without it and then being granted it. You know, you find out your great uncle owns, you know, a countryside. He's the Dutch. Pr- Dutch. Prin- Princess Diaries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great documentary. And then you appreciate it. But like if you grow up with it, if you're five years old when you're when your father's the president and you have to live the rest of your life in that, you don't actually know it as a privilege. You only know it as life. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like if you're like the royal you, family, it's awful. But I think you eventually recognize your place of privilege, I would hope. I don't think you you might recognize it intellectually, but I don't think from a living life standpoint you never would know what you have better than somebody you can recognize it but you don't realize it you I mean, what's his butt left right yeah one of them one of the yeah. old sons one of the princes yeah what's his butt <laughs> i don't know I, he left um yeah, yeah i mean but he's still got piles of privilege he now, still gets allowances is he still a stuff. prince yeah, or is once he removed form- <laughs> formally known <laughs> once removed <laughs> prince once removed um, um plus he's married to what megan megan markle or whatever but being yeah. close friends good reason to leave of a famous celebrity i mean that's like what's the downside there you're gonna go to way more fun events than what the president is going to uh, he get you in and, and and you're not the one getting asked for autographs well, I mean that part sucks, but yes, uh, they, I've I've seen Entourage and Turtle and Company. They live a live a pretty good life. Mike will, Mike is one hundred percent movie or TV references on today's show. I'm just trying to connect. It's the only with way the to people. relate with with us. Um, I I guess I will be close friends with a celebrity. I mean, yes, uh, Owl, you're close <laughs> friends with a celebrity. Three what of is, them. Yeah, what is it like being close friends with yeah, what's celebrities? It like is it pretty to- cool? It's great. Yeah, that's. I would take that. He gets access. Yeah, people know the owl. I guess the, he's not famous. <laughs> we we're famous, and people know. You him. just said people know the owl. Yeah, but I guess you have a chance of being the president. That is true. That is definitely true. I mean, you have higher you, odds of being the president. Do you like if your real, last name? Real question is Bush. No, there's a real question. Would you want that? I think I I think I would. Yeah, I think I would too. <laughs> I think I would I want that. I don't know to be the president. Yeah. I mean, I would ex- I would accept the presidency. I would not run for president. I think in some but ways, I would accept. I mean, let me let me. That's let me. you've seen the photos of first day in, no, last I know. day I know. out, and you're like that person is aged twenty five years. Yeah, I think you could make a case that if the child of a former president became president, that's better than somebody that hasn't been. I, I could easily make the opposite <laughs> case as well. Well, okay, let's, let me explain, and then you explain your okay, case. All right. Because I, I was thinking that obviously to become president, there's like a million different things you have to do. You got to raise all this money. You have to contort your. Uh, you let's just say it. Mm-hmm. You have to contort your integrity to, to finance it. To finance it, you got to join the Illuminati. Um, obviously, but you have to do all those things. To become the president, but if you're, uh, I feel like you get advantages as the son of a previous president that maybe you don't have to do as much of that. Yeah, which means there's not as much yeah. merit to it's, your it's, qualifications. We've, what? we've seen it. Oh, no, no, I agree, <laughs> but that's my point. There's not as much merit. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, is he shouldn't yeah, have I, ever been the president. His dad was just the president. Yeah, yeah we've we, we seen it. I follow, I follow you now. Like, you need merit. But see, do, they, do any of the real ones have merit anyways? I believe. No. my point. Here's, here, yeah. li- yeah, listen I, up, America oh, and the go. world. Here we go. I believe. <laughs> I've already had the platform. I believe that there are, in the history of humanity, great leaders. And there will always be new great leaders. And... Those people have to stand on their own merit. That's my belief. And I can't... In a system that does not value merit whatsoever. They will come around once <laughs> or t- once every few generations. I believe. All right. Well, I hope so. I'm going to choose the celebrity in this case. Oh, yeah. Give me the celebrity. Yeah, that's that's a good life, man. Now, in our case, though... Right. Wouldn't, well, the, wouldn't the celebrity be the friend of the celebrity? Yeah, but like I'm your guys' friend. Oh, that's right. So we're just Acquaintance. choosing our own life. Oh, no. <laughs> We've been over that. <laughs> All right. Let, let's move on. Less from Patreon. Would you rather have a flying magic carpet with a top speed of 15 oh, miles an hour? Like Aladdin. Yes. Or, thank you, Mike. 
and you didn't catch on didn't, that quick. No, it took me a second. Thank you, Mike, for chiming in and understanding. One this moment, question. please. All right. Or a flying broomstick with a top speed of twenty-five miles an hour, like Harry. What? Hocus Potter. Pocus. Okay. okay, that'll work. That'll work. Now I understand. Um, so you've got. Let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of magic carpet versus a broomstick. Well, magic carpet, the obvious one. Safe. Yes. Way yeah, yeah. more Absolutely. safer. Also, higher occupancy. Yeah. yeah. You're not really sharing your stick. You could fit four. <laughs> you, could, you could fit four on broomstick. The, yep. Yep. You can fit four on the on the magic carpet. Yeah. In a pinch. It's, Can you? Two is comfortable. Uh, if they're kids, you know, put the kids in the back. At least uh, one significant other. Yeah. For um, a magic carpet ride. Two is max occupancy on a broomstick. For two, sure. Two is max yeah. occupancy, but you that's going to cut that 25 mile an hour down a little, probably. And my fear. Why have we I, never I, seen that? Harry, have seen what? Like the people riding, like, like a, riding on a motorcycle. You'd yeah. need a bigger broomstick. <laughs> Like a double sized. <laughs> I have never, until this question, I've really never appreciated what Harry Potter did for broomsticks. Harry Potter <laughs> okay. gave f footrests to broomsticks. Yes. And so there is okay. a point of balance. Because if you is take. Is that in the book? No, that is not in the books. That's in the movies. Uh, otherwise, I would have credited J.K. Rowling. She did okay. not write the the. Uh, she didn't the fix the broomsticks. No, she didn't. Okay. Uh, someone else did. Uh oh! Uh -oh. No. Nerd off! <laughs> Andy, Andy is questioning my Harry no, Potter. I'm knowledge questioning because I think maybe some of the sketches in the early books may have included the foot. I'm not positive. Uh, you, you, I might, don't know. I don't. I don't know Harry about Potter's the early a book. Uh, well, there's, there's some it, sketches in the chapter openings and things like that. Yes, that is true. And there might have been a, nerd off uh, a, a, a picture of one. But, but you're I'm, saying a point I'm, of balance is the problem with a broomstick. Well, let's get back to whether or not there were uh, the the nerd off on the kick the footrests on okay. a broomstick. I don't believe in the text. There were okay, uh, you know, footrests. So it's not canon then. But ne thank you. Um, I think it becomes canon once it's in the movie. Anyways, continuing on. I have never thought about this, but like. If you're going 25 miles an hour on a broomstick and you mm -hmm. don't have those footrests, yeah. hold on for dear life. You're going to be hanging upside down. Real, don't turn. Do not turn. you got to hug that thing and hold tight with your legs and your arms and go in a straight line. Because one little imbalance you're, and you're hanging upside down. You're spinning. It seems like you need the broomstick to be made of metal and you need to wear like Magnet magnetic pants. underpants. <laughs> To hold on <laughs> to it. That's your solution? No, I That's don't know. That's my solution. I don't know if you know this. Because you can't we, put a saddle on it. We, ding, ding. He can't, figure, in. he can't figure out any solution like footrests that we were just talking about. I'm not sure the footrests do enough. Oh, Aren't certainly. Aren't the footrests way down by the, the broom? Yeah, that's where your so feet you gotta are. be really you got you got a, a balance on your left foot, a balance on your right foot, and you got it's like a tricycle. You I'm got trying three to figure out if balance. these are canon or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, producers, get on that. We got to figure out if it's uh, questionable. Um, sorry, does that mean you'll take the slower cruise? Of I mean, I imagine on a magic carpet, the carpet's the one that's flying. You. Absolutely. Whereas on the broomstick, you're in control of it. You can't autopilot that. The carpet comes with autopilot. You're not napping on a broomstick. Wait. Okay. Well, it also means they'll probably take the more efficient route because it's a. Br I mean, it's a carpet. It this knows is a good going. question because I know that. Uh, Aladdin, it's sentient. It's an it's alive. Is that normal? I mean, like when I think of magic carpet, that's the only thing I could think of right now. Is there any other uh, situations well, or I mean, movies where they have one and it's just? Let me ask you this: How, when, when do they? When have you ever seen somebody on a magic carpet where they take the reins? Do they take the reins? I well, like how do you go somewhere? It's not like there's a screen. No, it's sent, sentient. It, it, it has it, to have some yeah, knowledge, right? Don't you tell it? Yeah. I mean, it's just like magic. magic how powers. do you, if you get on one right now, Mike? Okay. And let's pretend it's not sentient. All right. How do you get to the mall? <laughs> I, I, do you grab do you the do? corners and pull, or? I mean, what's the technique? Yeah. You're sitting there. No, I mean, you go corners. You gotta, you gotta. Like a horse? Like grab the, yeah, the like, reins? Yeah, exactly. No, you, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and the harder you pull them, the faster you go. Well, or? you gotta give it a little kick. Okay. Oh, you lean. Ooh. It's like a uh, segue. Yep. <laughs> the segue, segue of the, the sky. sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Why did we say that at the same time? I don't know.
Uh, I am going to go, believe it or not, despite all of those attributes, I'm going to go with the sexier broomstick pick. Oh, you want this. But I want the speed. I want to be the, mo- I'm have, the motor. It's the motorcycle versus well, the like. On. What we have not highlighted here is 15 miles an hour and 25 miles yes. an hour. This is not. <laughs> Neither of them are very fast. This is not a bicycle versus a Ferrari. This is one one safe in a. Yeah. Oh, Jason found something. He confirmed that they're not canon is what he probably just did. That is correct. Yeah, uh, I have found well, that's out. That's good. That's good to know. Yeah, the, I mean, this is important information. The broomsticks were seen. Did you go to your forums, nerd? Well, <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, uh, HarryPotter.fandom.com. <laughs> little shout out. Um, the broomsticks were seen with a crossbar used as a footrest. These only appeared on the Nimbus 2000 and the Nimbus 2001 in the film versions of the Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. The crossbars on the broomsticks are not mentioned in the novels. Hmm. Oh, baby. When do we do Harry Potter trivia? So Snape fan 431 over here just got his answer. (laughs) How dare you, Snape fan? (laughs) That's the worst. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so final answer. I'm going to go with the slightly sexier broomstick. Um I just think pulling up to an event in a broomstick is going to be a little bit cooler than, you know, being delivered. What on kind a- of broomstick do you, is, is this like old witch looking broomstick or are you on like a modern day broom? Yeah, I mean, like it, a kitchen broom. That's, I mean, the, that's question not a has, the question has to be asked. It's got to have straw. Yeah. The magic is in the straw. Yeah. And okay. I, I prefer, you know, like a, I don't know, a phoenix feather in the. In the wood? In the core. Um, I'm taking the magic carpet ride. Um, my understanding from movies such as Aladdin is it yeah. is uh, great for romance. Oh, okay. uh, I, oh I th- all right. Yeah. And good good luck falling asleep on your broomstick. No, it'd be a problem. I'm going to go carpet. Mm-hmm. California. If I wear my, shoe, my magnetic <laughs> underpants, I can fall asleep just fine. You fall asleep on that broom. You're going upside down. That broom is not catching out. you. I fall off my yeah. rug. That rug is he's that's got That's true. Me. Not if it not if it only goes fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, okay. that's a good point. If his max speed is 15, oh, no. he comes right down I'm after not me. not fast enough. Ba- basically, he's just got the best view he of my dad. He just follows you down. <laughs> he's just straight watching me plummet. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So How you... fast do you fall? <laughs> well, we've been over the like. To, we got to look up. So turn. How fast? Uh, oh, between dude. 110 and 130 miles per hour. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a lot more. See you later, rug. <laughs> Catch me. <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it was kind of incredible considering the magic carpet. Part of the magic has to be keeping you on it because you're grabbing nothing. You're sitting Mm -hmm. in the middle of the sky. The carpet's going rigid. Right. I mean, I'm just saying it should be really easy to fall off of. Yeah. Both of them should be very easy to (laughs) fall off of. Uh, All right. We're moving on. Your bedroom deserves a refresh, and now is the perfect time to elevate the most important room in your home with Thuma. Introducing The Bed by Thuma, handcrafted from eco-friendly, high-quality, upcycled wood, you will find beautiful, unique variations in the natural grain. The minimalist design featuring Japanese joinery helps elevate any space. It's super supportive for your mattress. It's breathable and made to naturally minimize noise and create space. It's made for how you live. The Bed by Thuma is backed by a lifetime warranty, ships right to your door with three easy-to-maneuver boxes. It takes about five-ish minutes to assemble with no tools required. You can easily build it yourself. Along with the bed, Thuma offers other bedroom essentials like the mattress, the nightstand, the side table, perfect complements for the bed. Create that feeling of checking into your favorite boutique hotel suite, but at home with the bed by Thuma. And now go to thuma.co slash ballers to receive a $25 credit towards your purchase of the bed, plus free shipping in the continental U.S. Go to thuma.co slash ballers. That's T-H-U-M-A dot C-O slash ballers for a $25 credit. Highway to spell. And my palms are sweating. (laughs) (laughs) All right. um, Oh, gosh. I have won this before. Yeah. Yeah. When I got handicapped. That's right. Uh, but you would have won it anyways. So you have. You're in it. Who's starting today? Is it random? It's going to be our reigning champ, Andy. Oh, boy. And oh. we are starting in seventh grade. What? 
<laughs> we were just are we just trying to speed this thing along? Yeah, let's get to the draft. Let's go. All right, Ada, here's your seventh grade level word. No. Yep. I gotta stay. Accurate. Oh, what? What is this? Accurate? <laughs> what is that voice? Okay. Do it again. Accurate. Oh, better. A C C U R A T E. Accurate. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. My, I, my I, prediction for that word was accurate. I was a little worried about the one C versus two C's, but I did write two C's. Yeah. All right, Mike, here is your seventh grade level word. Okay. Culminate. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, I've never heard of that word in my Me life. Me either. Culminate. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's... <laughs> It's when a comet comes flying. I, I heard culminate. Culminate. No, that's because it said culminate. Well, no, it's, it's that. It's, it's culminate. Yeah. The word is culminate. But is it spelled culminate? <laughs> yes, it's spelled culminate. <laughs> I right. mean, culminate. C U L M I N A T E. Oh, okay. baby. Ooh, that nothing, was great. There's nothing worse than going third in the first round where I spell the first two words right and now I'm just. I, I quit. I, I, I'm leaving. You All really right. do get sweaty. <laughs> Always. Uh, A L W A Y S. Here's Always. your seventh grade level word. Nicely done. Sincerity. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's a long one. Ask him to use it in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man. I got the. F oh, are got, you struggling over there? You got I got the first letter? letter? Yeah, I got the first letter for sure. Um, this is great. I think oh, you no. I think you'll be all right. Yeah. I don't, don't think I'm. Don't you have two it. versions over there? I got two versions of it here. <laughs> I'm sure don't one of them might be it. right. Uh, all right. I think uh, you wrote the same word twice. <laughs> no, no. No, those are different. Those are different. All right. Oh, uh, do Let I me go see with, Let me see Do again. I go with what I wrote first, which felt right? That's your gut. Yeah. Or do I go with what I wrote second, which they're looks which looks right? There are definitely two versions. I mean, let me see. Okay. Um, sincerity. Can I hear the word one more time? Sincerity. sincerity. Oh, okay. I see your difference in there. Sincerity. <laughs> sincerity. Okay. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, sin you got it, man. Sincerity. You got Believe. S-I-N-C-E-R-E-T-Y. -E oh, you son of a gun! Yeah, I mean, it's an I. Yeah. I don't know what's going on over there. You want to know the worst part of this whole thing, um, which uh, obviously is me losing a round one on a seventh grade word. Um, the second worst part of this thing is it was Mike saying, you got to believe that made me go with what my gut answer was first. Because I thought you were giving me a hint. I didn't know which you one you wrote. Scallion. No, I didn't know which one was I first. I thought about giving him you a hint. You didn't know which one was first? How no. do we write? Top down or bottom up? Well, sometimes like when I'm writing it, you might put it in the middle, and you're like, oh, I need more room. I'm going you're to the top. saying he wasn't sincere? He was sincerity. <laughs> um, oh, well, we're moving on. Okay. Eighth grade, Mike and I. All See, right. See, now that you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Yeah, but who's, yeah, who's the lucky one? <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> my hamster died. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, Ada, here's your eighth grade level word. Besiege. Uh-oh. <laughs> Besieged. B-E-S-I-E-G-E-D. Besieged. Mm, got to yes. go Gotta go quick, man. Yeah. You got to go quick. No, I agree. I had it. Had <laughs> oh, Mike didn't have it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, had it. <laughs> you got it wrong? I didn't even have a chance to write. I didn't either. Down. I started writing. And I, I was... should have given you some time, but I just was so... I was, I was confident the, that my first Im impulse was right. I was waiting for the other diff, the other uh, voice. Yeah. All right. right. <laughs> Mike, here's your eighth grade level word. Okay. Precipice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, on to the draft. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what? I, I will say this. I just wrote <laughs> I just wrote the word precipice, and there ain't no chance it's right. There is precipice. There's so many variables here. <laughs> Precip we are on the precipice of the draft. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy this moly. This no. could not possibly be right, what I wrote. I mean, I'm on letter four. No, that's very wrong. I'm on letter four here. We're already up. Like <laughs> This this road could fork in so many directions. <laughs> Dude, I wrote it. I wrote it, and then I looked at it. You know you look at a word, and you're like, yeah. that's not a word. I Come on, Mike. You might get it. No. No. I've written it so many times, I don't think any of them are right now. Press. Press. Piss. 
<laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? Ow. Jason did. We are on the precipice of the draft. Pre- <laughs> He's saying it so tenderly. Pre- oh. Okay. Okay. We, I'm locking. I'm locking in. I'm locking in the S sound. I've got that. Wait, you're still working through it? Oh yeah, we're on letter four, my man. Press it. Eh, eh, eh. Hold on, stop. Uh, Just believe in yourself, Mike. <laughs> Is you going to the mall today? <laughs> <laughs> Precipice. P P R E C I P I C E. That's where oh, I would have gone. Yeah. All right. I'm happy right. to know that I would have been out this round. Press a pace. <laughs> <I would've laughs> That's, you put that on your chips. Yeah, I put... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite dip. It's press a pace. <laughs> it's made in New York City. He's over two. You're playing with us every round, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. All right, I'm we're playing into, this game, too. We're into high school. <laughs> yep. Ninth grade. Andy, is, here's okay. Can your we word. turn some air on in this room, please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming right up. Surveillance. Oh. oh. Poop. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wrote it so fast because I was like, oh, I know this one, no problem. And then the word got so much longer than it is. Oh, man. Oh, boy. There's, di- there's only one. I got one big problem. I always yep. put so many extra letters in my words. I'm going. I'm shooting a shot here. Oh, no. But the rule. Um, here we go. <laughs> S-U-R. Uh-huh. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Wait for real? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. S U R V. Uh huh. Okay. I E L L A N C E. Surveillance. Oh. Is okay. uh, does that mean it's E N C E? Yeah. No, it's E I. Everything else you had correct. Oh, poop. I before E except after C. No, that can't be right. Mine is uh, bad. What'd bad. you What'd you have? Let me see. Uh, mine was. You had S E R V A. Let me see this. Surveillance. Surveillance. <laughs> is that a tilde over the end? <laughs> no, that's just a I, dot. So the EI. I even s- heard you say the rule, but it yeah. just didn't feel right. That's uh, Because that's oh, it's a rule. Take it home, Mike. It's a rule that sometimes you use, yeah. which is not a rule. All right, so if Mike gets this right, he wins. <clears throat> that is correct. Oh, this will be the first time ever. Here we go. Here's your ninth grade level word. He's on the precipice of victory. <laughs> Expediency. Oh, no. I think that's all right. X. I think we can sound this one out. X. P. I think I got that one. That's got another w- sing- yeah. singular yeah. issue. What do you think about this? <clears throat> I think what it's... Do you think, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? <laughs> you don't want to cheat off of me, Mike. <laughs> I will happily show you, and I, I, you don't want none of this. Expediency? Yeah. Expediency. Expediency. E-X-P-E-D-I-E-N-C-Y. No! I got, oh, the no you like, got it wrong. Right. I yeah. got everything wrong today. <laughs> he put I mean, the I got... A and C E. Mm-hmm. That was the variable. Congratulations, yes. Mike. Wait, wait. Where's, where's my... the clapping? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> for me. <laughs> well, we're all winners here today. That's <laughs> that's for sure. That's what I learned. Let's draft. The Spitballers Draft. We are drafting the best fruits. And Jason has the first pick. Um, there's a lot of fruit. Yeah. More than I thought when I started thinking about this draft. There, I, I don't know why, but there's a there's a one on one that I really, really, really want, and I'll be sad if you take it, Jason. Well, there's a there's a one on one for me as well. It's it's the clear, and obvious first pick. Really. I, for me. For okay. My okay. Taste. Okay. Good. It's not for everybody. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I, that, but that's what I was. Well, I said this, this is my clear and most obvious favorite fruit. Like <laughs> we should all know what it is. My point is, and I'm getting back to what I talked about at the beginning of the show, where I don't think it is the most beloved fruit. And so I want to play the game. I want to see if I can get that back yeah. after you two take. Well, that would be the smartest man. thing to do because we might compete on other fruits. You'll get four fruits. Four, is it four fruits? It I'm saying it's fruiting. five fruits before it gets back to me. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fruits too good. All right. I'm going to pass on my favorite. Okay. And guys, I hope so you are you. I hope you pay. You're going to pass too. Because I would so never pass my favorite pet? fruit. All right. So I'm going to take 
Well, you, got a, you got a little froggy over there. Yeah, I'm getting a little choked you, up you over You are very sweaty, too. Uh, the Highway to Spell. Gets it? It should just be called Highway to Sweat. I mean, <laughs> that thing is stressful. S-W-A-I-T. <laughs> you want to hit the, uh, We can hit the sauna or could have a spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, with the first pick, I am going to take a very normal, common, s- staple <laughs> fruit. I'm going to take the apple. Okay. All right, now, uh, if we're going specific, it's this, Honeycrisp. This I mean, is no, what it's, it, 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 apples. He gets apples. Okay, okay. but I want it. I would, the record needs to show that Honeycrisp are the best apples. That's fine. Apple was my biggest question because there are Granny so Smith's many different, and, and they taste very they different. Do. But they we, do. We'll go all apples. That's fine. There's enough fruit. We, okay. we could have had an apple draft. We'll do an apple draft on its own someday. Brooks eats an apple salad every day. Yeah, he does. I Keeps love a away. Honeycrisp, uh, apple pie, apple cobbler. I'm, I think it's I versatile. Mean, it, it is versatile. Classic. And it's so easy. Fruit. Some fruit it's goes. It's not the best fruit. Some fruit goes. Oh, I agree. Ap- no, I agree. I didn't, I didn't draft the best fruit because it's going to come back to me. Um, but they're also so easy. Sometimes yes. you got to like do so yeah. much work for fruit. And this is like. Yeah. This is the vanilla of the fruits. <laughs> yeah. Do you wash your apples? I do rinse my apples. Yes. I rinse my apples. Oh, man. Fri- fridge to mouth, baby. You're all, all natural. <laughs> Living dangerous. <laughs> Love that pesticide. <laughs> That's one of those things where, like, what if you just found out that nobody ever needs to wash their apples? Here's, like, you just do something you do for your whole entire life, and what if you don't even need to do it? You haven't wasted that much time, so it, I think you're that's okay. That's a lot of rinses. How many? No, no, on no. On my deathbed, I'll have 11 minutes that I could have accumulated. <laughs> Mike is right, because here's what's crazy. When you say you go fridge to mouth, yeah. I think that is awful and disgusting. Here's what I do. I take that apple. Uh-huh. And maybe for half a second, I <laughs> run underwater. I mean, I don't. There's nothing yeah, I'm same. doing. I don't wash. I'm it. just getting it wet. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> you all. You wet I'm your doing. apple. I wet my apple, and then we're good to go. I have washed nothing off of that <laughs> apple, but I would never go fridge to mouth. You know what? You're 100 percent right. I do uh, the exact same thing, but I think I've seen people say you're supposed to wash your fruit for like a minute. Like, if you really uh, wanted to wash what? your produce, you're supposed to, like, scrub it for a minute. Yeah. I'm, I'm on team wet my produce. All the all the cook plants, like, make right. sure you thoroughly wash your produce. Just run it who's, under some cold water. Who's got time for that? One, I'm, one, th- done. I'm, I'm taking what <laughs> I consider to be it? the one-on-one of actual fruit. Okay. Because when, when you have a good one, which you almost always do. Come on, come on. It's, it's just too delicious. And the spears... I it just chomped through it. A pineapple. Mm. Oh, oh, baby. So good. I knew Mike loves pineapple. Is that what you were hoping would fall that's, through? That's the easy 101. I mean, pineapple, by the way, I don't know what they do in Disneyland. You ever go to the uh, but the Bengal Cafe in the sure. uh, mm-hmm. by Indiana Jones ride? Oh, yeah. They sell giant pineapple spears from heaven. If you just grill, like literally oh, just grilled take, pineapple. take a pineapple, oh, yes. spear it up, throw it on a grill. You don't have to know what you're doing. Just heat it up on a grill. That's all oh, you got to do. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So, also, also good cold. And it's so good freezing. I highly cold, recommend. hot, frozen. Room temperature, you got to try it. <laughs> they make a $10 so appliance to core a pineapple. Oh, it, this, it, it changes your life. And it's uh, Mike, I think, is the yep. one who told me about it. And it's really it's opened up a whole new world for me and my pineapples. It's the whole reason I didn't draft pineapples. It, it, I talk about apples are easy. The barrier to entry on an apple is nothing. Yeah. You don't grab a pineapple out the fridge and start yeah. chowing down. You got work to do. Yeah. Yes, you do. But but pineapple's my pick. It's worth it every time. Yeah. <laughs> Until you uh, you can have too much. Sure. The, Very acidic. The, Very the, acidic. The mouth starts to burn, mm-hmm. and that's when you know you've had enough. But, oh, man, pineapple's so good. Uh, I like I, my fruit to <laughs> scorch my mouth. I was hoping at the turn I could come through with this uh, – dynamic duo of the pineapple and the strawberry okay yeah. because yeah. uh standalone incredible value combined i mean it's, it's incredible i feel like the world loves strawberries just a little bit more than i do oh man do you know what i mean like people love really? strawberries i am with you Andy. you are yeah. what is happening strawberries are just it, first of all you can get a a, a vast difference between mm-hmm. one strawberry to the next sure on how good they are you and i just i'm not that into them strawberries oh, are man. good yes oh. Strawberries yes. are good. Yes, I'm not an anti-strawberry. Guy. I will not stand for strawberries are good. Yeah, strawberries not- are top tier elite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I producers, please. You I put need- some chocolate on them, and I can get down. Oh yeah, there's ways to make yeah. the sourness you go away. You don't need it. I love strawberries, but they. I made a list. They're number four on my list. Exactly. They're probably right there <gasps> for me. Six on my list. Well, I'll take seven. Y'all are. Crazy. 
crazy. I mean, I, look, I respect the pick. I think strawberry for a lot of people is the one on one. It's so good. Brooks, where where do where you where you want strawberries? Strawberry? No thanks. Oh, all right, oh, all right. I stand alone then. Was it Br Tom Brady that's never had a strawberry in his life? Yes. Probably. Yeah. All right, Mike. Second pick for you. All right. Now, now the game begins. Yeah, you got a long wait after this pick. Uh, man. I'm gonna. What, what are the fruit of your loom, Mike? I'm just gonna go like it's I like sour. So I'm just whatever. I'm just gonna stay with my heart. I'm going with green grapes. Okay. Green grapes. You I, can have all the grapes. I know they oh okay, I will you take You get grapes. I'll take grapes. I yeah. will take the red ones and I will throw them in the garbage. Oh, you make wine out of them. And then I'll dump that down the drain. Okay. All right. <laughs> have, you, have you ever it's taken a lot of extra work for me so over you here? Really, you 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 no, consider red are eating fine. a red okay. Red, right. They are they red grapes are still good. You just prefer the green but grapes. But like but a cold crispy green grape is i call them pre, pre raisins but I, whatever I, oh my god i challenge you if, if you don't okay. like the sweet ones you like the sour ones i like red, red Which, ones are fine yeah but. they they're all delicious but if you've ever frozen the red sure. like frozen grapes are so good yes yeah yeah i've, 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 I've i would I, i'm not I've saying lived like that life better. I've dabbled no they're good and they're much like the apple i mean a little bit more work than an apple Cause There's like got, two seconds under the yeah, water. Yeah, because you no what no you have to pluck them off those whatever what do we even call those things the stems, stems? I think so <laughs> all right yeah I stems. mean there's some variables sure there you grab a you grab a, a chunk of grapes you're gonna get some duds in there you're gonna get some some uh, you know have you guys had the, the th first of all shout out to the scientists out there you guys yeah, are doing, doing some doing great the fruit work. scientists doing some yeah. great things but we had too many working on cancer we need the fruit <laughs> scientists they have um. <laughs> found a way and it, and it's I, I think it's organic it's basically i didn't know the, you mer could the merging i didn't know you could breed plants oh, we, we can do whatever we want man but whatever magic they've done they have created grapes that naturally grow that taste like cotton candy have I've, you had cotton I've, candy i've heard tail cotton candy grapes are unbelievable but do they taste like cotton candy they taste 100 percent like cotton where's candy. my cotton candy broccoli if you have cotton but i, but I want my grapes to taste like grapes <laughs> okay should try the apples they make. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it's like if you have cotton candy flavored ice cream. That flavor, it's that flavor in every grape. It's, it's We're doing good too, work out there. Probably yeah. too sweet for you. But Andy brings up the best point imaginable. Where's my cotton candy broccoli? Yeah. What, mix that stuff up to taste sweet. Your filet mignon broccoli. Yeah, I, I, I believe it's the sugars which are not uh, not in the broccoli. But filet mignon broccoli, yeah. he's right. Give or me like something make them salty. Taste like potato chips. Potato chip yeah. broccoli. Yeah, yeah. blacking. Get on that, Lays. All right, <laughs> broccoli by Lays. <laughs> <laughs> you can never eat just one. <laughs> oh man, that would make me healthier. All right, I am back up, and I am a little worried about this way that Jason set mm. up his secret number one pick mm -hmm. because I have, uh, I'm I'm on the fence between a couple. I'm going to go with what I think is, I mean, clearly the most refreshing of all fruits. It's a good time. It's delicious. It's watermelon. <laughs> I'm going with watermelon for my second pick. Uh, it is a summer's day. I mean, that's what it sure. is. So, uh, again, it's a look, it's not a both of my fruits takes you some time to get into it. You got to do a little work, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. Uh, they are delicious. Watermelon would have been my pick next. Had I not gotten the best fruit that exists, uh, which is clearly a banana. I mean, bananas are my favorite. That now, here's the thing so about you weird. got apple and banana. I got apple. Oh, I, I so you're not, very vanilla. I didn't think it was bananas due to your particularity about when a banana is actually good. You, now, you think they are good on like one summer's eve that's right. per cycle. That is 100% right. After the full moon. Yes. You... Have, Harvest moon. You have to wait for bananas to be ripe. If there is a hint of green, it could be yellow and still have a little oh. bit of green flavor. Get that thing in the garbage. Flush it. I mean, a, a green banana sucks. Now, once the green is completely gone like, and it's- Get rid of this thing that will eventually turn into the yellow delicious yeah, banana that I uh, want. Yeah, right. Okay, but let's <laughs> hold on to this thing. You're not ready. Uh, get out. And then- It's not past the prime. It just hasn't hit it yet. It's a fair point. But once it hits that- Full yellow. You need some brown, right? Maybe, maybe hints of brown. Absolutely some no speckles? bruise. No bruise. Speckles on the on the outside. Yeah, you want some specks? You open that thing up, and it's great. But here's the thing about bananas. Banana freckles. Bananas are the when you've got a ripe banana, 
It is the perfect flavor. It is my favorite. It might be my favorite flavor of all flavors. Okay. He loves banana, banana flavored stuff. Banana, banana desserts, banana cream pies, banana runts, banana pudding. Yeah, you're a little too banana. Uh, you can one cut these up to put them in your cereal. I mean, there's only one way that like regular Cheerios is okay. Put some bananas in there. I have Cheerios every morning. Yeah. I'm regular? Not. Yeah. Yeah. Put some I bananas like, in I there. I like regular Cheerios too. Yeah. Hey. Put some bananas in there. <laughs> yeah. I don't want the mush in the If you're, in the, if you're in reaching the for a banana, let me ask you each of you a question. You're reaching for a banana of your perfect ripeness. Mm-hmm. You are you are you throwing back the whole banana? Are you a whole banana guy? No, oh, are you a half banana? Uh, you never eat the butt. Oh yeah, no, we, I'm, we I'm, talked. The bananas needs to go, but banana, yeah, yeah. I go. But I'm saying you quantity wise, you're good with a full banana. Oh, absolutely. All right, they're and not, I go. Are we all not, full banana people? I mean, they're not that big. Yeah, what you're throwing away half a banana? No, I would never throw it away. I'd save it. The bananas I get are the size of my arm. I could never put one. I'd down. cut a banana in half and eat half a banana. Now, have you done the? Uh, you actually, you open it. What is perceived as upside down? I have. I've never broken through the bananas. It's it's actually way easier to open open from Is it? the upside down part. Yeah. How? You just you you pinch. And you, you still rip. peel. Yeah. Okay. You you pinch and you rip open instead of like grabbing that. What is. What we're told is like the can opener from the right. banana, except like then you just it doesn't it. always work. Yeah, you just break the banana in half. So you've got your a- apples and bananas. I'm I'm always going to use a knife. You cut the top, peel. I'm so not easy. you need a knife. I don't for need a, a banana. knife. I use a knife so that I don't smush it. Bougie boy needs mm. a knife mm. for his banana. Dude, I'm gonna label a Do you banana eat it knife. with a fork too. Um, maybe sometimes. Oh my goodness Dip gracious! It in some chocolate. All right, so I've got your bananas. ancestors are so <laughs> upset with you right I've now. I've got apples, and I need a knife. Man, this Mike is, is really he's not. <laughs> it opens the... with very little effort. You should save try. your knife for the freaking pineapple, let, brother. Let me tell you this. Yes. <laughs> let yes, me. The, the pineapple. Okay, you need a knife. Otherwise, you're ripping your hands open. L- let me a tell banana you. banana just goes. Whoop. Try it with a banana. He's got those lotion try. gloves on when he's eating it, so he doesn't need the. <laughs> it's it's not a lot of work to open a banana without a knife. No, it's it not. It is still less work <laughs> to open it with no, a knife. I, no, no. That in the time you have to walk to the drawer. No, my knives are right next to my banana stand. <laughs> So this is thought out. I grab it, and I'm at the same station. Little cut, and All I'm right. good to go. I stand All right. corrected. All right. uh, what's your third fruit there, All pal? Right. My third fruit, there are two I'm debating. There's a between. murderous monkey living in this house. <laughs> um, man, there are so many fruit that I love. Um, I think I'm going to... All right. Mm. I, I'm going to play the game again. My Ooh. next my next favorite fruit, I don't think you guys are going to draft. I do think you will draft this next one. So I, I've got, like, Team Classic over here. I'm going oranges. Okay. Oranges are delicious. You can have them in the summer and the winter. Uh, and now, seedless. Thank you, scientists. Yes. Zero to six seeds. Z- zero to six <laughs> seeds. Seedless water, uh, seedless oranges. Um, yeah, oranges are just great. I think they're, they're fantastic. I think they're underrated nowadays. Like, when we were growing up, oranges... They were the. You want to talk about an annoying fruit to eat? Orange. I mean, let's let's be honest. You need a napkin. When we're saying we like oranges, what we're mostly saying is we like the taste of oranges. We're not really liking. I actually enjoy the process. Oh no! Good, great texture, juicy. I enjoy. You don't want no paper cuts on your fingers when you're eating an orange. That's oh, yeah, true. Yeah, that's I don't want paper cuts on my fingers no matter In what. General, yeah. Like that's if also, I'm eating, the I live steak. by that. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I, I I like peeling an orange. The only problem is the juice on the hands. That is annoying. Sure. Um, all right, so you went you have apples, bananas, and oranges. I this mean, is kind of fruit of the loom. <laughs> <laughs> uh well I'm gonna go, you know, I'm I'm gonna stick with this slightly less vanilla and boring. I will go I have pineapple, I have watermelon. I'm gonna go with peach. Okay. I'm going with a juicy I peach. I like it. I'll take a juicy peach over and, and how easy it is to eat over eight. An sure. orange, which without rudimentary tools, I could not access the inside of an orange very well. Can't you? You can't just bite it open. I suppose I could try that, you, but then you've you, got you, some of the. You just get that old incisor in there, man, and it's good to go. Yeah, but then you got the like the orange peel. You in do your, in yes. your teeth. Yes, it's a stuff. sacrifice. You must. Yeah. you got to get the uh, the essence of whatever's in that Either orange. Do you peel. guys have an orange peeler? No, I because great. I, I've got it. I've got it's well, right next many, to his orange tree. <laughs> how many teeth do we got? Thirty-two. You really bite an orange open? Oh yeah, 
I have well, you've never got done some nice that in my canines, life. though. I, I would like to say that. There. Well, thank you. I, wow. I've, I, I pride myself on my on, on my, my two canine team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it it yeah, owls it is bitter, absolutely. But, oh, you're talking about the actual rind? Yes, when you when you bite into it, but that Not goes even a away. Big name for something? It goes away quickly because then you're soon eating a sweet, delicious orange. No, and then you have no. You don't have to go find anything sharp. You don't have to wash anything. I used to chew to go. chew oranges and then spit after I got all the juice. Oh, I'd you, spit the junk you part didn't out, like the uh, the skin. Yeah. All right, so I'm going peach. I think a peach is delicious. It's uh, I like peach flavored. Um, peach is as close as I get to your banana love of things. Like peach flavored things, I'm down. I'm down on on peaches. I think peaches are okay. There you go. I think they're good. Uh, and I'm gonna go final two picks for Mikey. I got my final two here. I'm going with a like when I started making my list. You know, you're looking up fruits. You're like, dude, I freaking love this fruit, and yeah. it's just I so rarely get it like it's you know how you get in your habits of you go to the grocery store you know which fruits to target for your family and that that's all you buy You're like we're uh we're in apples i'm sure my instacart driver has that feeling when i send <laughs> when i send them <laughs> i don't know who i'm doing a show with anymore over here uh but dude pears pears oh. are so unbelievably good i thought i could right. let when, i yes. thought i could let that slip yeah, to the, the last I mean, pick i'm yes. disappointed i like <laughs> all these picks well yeah they're good when they're perfectly ripe. but a lot yes, of these, of course it needs to be a ripe fruit but these a lot of these fruits, fruits were drafting yes. a lot of these fruits though unlike a banana and a pear you they have a longer like, like an sure. orange is uh, is an orange ever like not ripe they, i mean obviously yeah you they, pick they, it before they go back but an apple they can you, be not sweet you put an apple in your fridge you come back three years later that thing's good to go yeah but dude pears are so good they're so sweet yeah but uh, like they're not like it's you ever crazy. have a harry and david pear mm, I, have, I have i don't know what that is it's a brand go, yeah you you get There's them on brand the, name pears you get them on the internet and they show up at your house. You get a twelve pack of, of Harry and David pears. Okay, it'll blow your world. Not not a sponsor, but reach it'll, out. It'll blow okay. your mind. I'm, I'm, I'm in for You're it. You're gonna get in on these pears. I love pears. So like, give me one. The 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 <laughs> texture, the texture of the skin is, yeah, is it's tolerable. Per, oh, I think it's it it adds to the experience. Really? For me. Yeah, I okay. I love it. And with my last pick here, I mean, there's you know, like some more, not really exotic fruits, but just you know like not as common but i'm gonna just, i'm gonna go with a common name here. i'm just gonna go with good old-fashioned blueberry mm -hmm. that's what yeah. I'm saying. you just get yourself a handful of blueberries and you are in for a good time blueberries are fantastic yeah they are i i was it took me a long time to get on board with the uh with pretty much all berries but blueberries have risen to the top for me uh, of the of the well not strawberries but you know you would not have taken peach i could have taken pear there. oh i would i would never have taken peach <laughs> right. made, made a terrible decision. I mean, we could go ten rounds. I would have taken peach. <laughs> they're, they're good. They're just they're not they're not on my list. They're hairy. Um, so pears are kind of too. No, not like a peach. Peach is like peach velvet. Fuzzy. Super hairy. They're fuzzy. Peaches are like eating velvet. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, strawberries, grapes, pears, blueberries. I'm very sad because pears and blueberries were my next two picks. Oh, so instead of go. going with either one of them, they you took next. them both. Um, and, uh, I'm almost out of fruits on this list over here. I'm going to actually go with, I mean, is it a betrayal of the fruit? If I don't want to just eat a bunch of the fruit, but I love the fruit flavor. Let's find you out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There are fruits. I mean, I think that's kind of orange for a lot of people too. They like orange juice more than they like oranges. Like, would you rather have right. a glass of orange juice or, gla or, or an orange? Or a glass of an orange. <laughs> uh, I would rather have orange juice, I think, but I also love oranges. I guess I guess I'm gonna just I'm gonna throw this draft right in the trash can. I'm gonna take <laughs> raspberries. I'm Halloween. taking raspberries. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, raspberries are great. Yeah, that's yeah, why I'm they are it's good. Fine. Like no, it's raspberries a are good, but I like raspberry flavor even more than the raspberry. Okay. I love raspberries. Raspberries are what a pick by me. No, yeah, they're so much better than peaches. Um, they can be a little gritty. Like yes, see, that's that's, this, that's what gets me. But they they got a good flavor. Yeah. Um. We at all, at at the Moore's house, we have berries all the time, and there are three of them. We have blueberries, mm -hmm. raspberries, yes, and my final pick, which is the least popular of the three, and I find that is always the one I prefer. When all three are there, I'm eating a hundred percent blackberries first. Okay, I love them. When they are sweet, they are so delicious. 
I was happy that black bears got back to me. And talk about gritty. Oh yeah, I yeah. mean you got the little seeds for sure. But I think it's worth it. If it, it makes me and feel And you spit them all out, right? <laughs> the, the little itty bitty <laughs> tiny. And the way you phrase that is interesting cuz this is how I think of it too is when you say okay, well I'm going to eat a berry. What is that? Okay, well blueberry, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. Yeah. It's called a strawberry, but it is it is not linked no, it's to not. those other berries. Because you, you need big. to be able to hold them in your like a bunch in your hand mm -hmm. and pop them in your mouth at one time. Okay. If That's you, the thought. If you have a bunch of mixed berries and they're and the strawberries are there, then there's too much strawberry. Because the strawberries are just too big. You need big. strawberry slices in one of those fruit salads. Yep. Um no, but I, I the reality is like berries when i'm looking at like a, a ranked list it, which is really dumb has all these different fruits and then the number one thing is just berries just yeah. like the whole you category you can't do you that you can't do that our draft would have been over yeah oh, we I'll did take, go blueberry raspberry blackberry for the last three yeah but i'm saying like you can't just oh berries now nobody took the lime or the lemon now is that because we all know aren't. that they're just ancillary pieces? Yeah, they are not standalone fruits. I'm never they do gonna great work. Eat but. a lime. Limes. I mean, lots. I love lime. I take a lime to a lemon in my water. Me too. Uh, limes are much more practical, versatile, used in more things to me than a lemon. But yeah, you're not eating. It's like you're. Oh, what's your favorite fruit? A lemon. <laughs> like, what? Now, could I have taken a clementine? No, it would. It would have been an orange, orange category. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Because I would have taken it, too. Yeah. Um, I, I have three on my list. All right, let's hear it. Uh, I love kiwi. Kiwi is so good. You're yeah. not, uh, we just we just heard from Al Borland. You're talking about fuzzy. Apparently, apparently, it's his 102. Well, you don't eat the fuzz on that. You eat the fuzz on a peach, or you can. You don't ever eat the peel on a I don't kiwi. Eat, I don't eat kiwi, man. Yeah. I don't know how you eat that thing. No, um, not in on it. Here's one of my absolute favorite fruits that I know so many people hate. I mean, hate it. Can't Ooh. stand it. I love cantaloupe. Cantaloupe to me oh, is yeah. fantastic. I prefer it to watermelon and <laughs> yeah. um, and then I, I like the honeydew. The problem with the cantaloupe is clearly it's the cheapest fruit that <laughs> people can buy because when you order a fruit cup, you always get it. It's eighty percent cantaloupe and then like one little sliver of a strawberry and maybe a blueberry. Mel yes. The and melons, which so that it's on the the restaurant industry. They have created the animosity towards the cantaloupe because when you when you and it's have, not like it's good cantaloupe when, in those, right? But it's, but there is good cantaloupe, yeah. And you're like, okay, this I I'm fine with this. Yeah, they're not giving you the good stuff in no. the, in the cheap fruit cups. Um, and then shout out to uh, cherries. Yes, I I thought about cherries. Messy and fruit. They are mess, and like you got to deal with the the gigantic seed in the middle. Oh no no. And, no have no, we no, gotten no. rid of those seedless cherries? I'm not dealing with that. You can do that with zero to we six? Got, the, the science we got on that? Oh, yeah. One in every six has, still has the seed. Maraschino cherries? Uh, the, Wait a minute. Yeah, Maraschinos yeah. aren't cherries. What sure are they? What are those? Are those the those dessert are the, ones? Those are the little dessert ones that that's are like- That's not a real cherry. That they put on top of your ice cream. That's not a real fruit. No, that's a candy. It's- That's not a real fruit. It's got to be a fruit, though, no. right? No. no. It's made out of sugar. Uh, is preserved it's sweet lost cherry, itself typically made from light colored sweet cherries so it's cherries made out of cherries <laughs> <laughs> all right the, uh, the last one i would go for it gone with for it's kind of like the peach but like a nectarine like from that family of of uh what, yes what do you even call those uh the, the i don't know i mean i think i'd have a name peaches right? and nectarines are like limes and lemons to me yeah and a nectarine's actually quite delicious oh yes. what about plums that's on my list as well <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's, I, I, but i i don't know the last time you I just rediscovered one. them i think i they're was good pff, i don't know 12 yes but they were, yeah who <laughs> eats plums but they're delicious man i remember plums <laughs> this is what i was saying at the beginning fruit is fantastic yeah we you may, guys remember fruit <laughs> <laughs> we might have give, not you given not given maraschino cherries enough cherry credit i think they are i mean they they've They've gone to work on them. Oh, the, Lux, hit, the Luxardo maraschino cherries are. They I mean, they've the hit battle. the lab pretty they, hard. They hit the plastic surgeon. That's like, yeah. the, like the canned peaches. There ain't no more <laughs> peach left in that thing. All right. So, uh, any other any other forgotten fruits over there, deucers? You got all mine. All right. What did we learn today? Uh, I learned that Mike is the best speller uh, out of this. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm glad it's that someone finally recognizes. I learned that, uh, sadly, J.K. Rowling didn't come up with the uh, mm -hmm. the foot 
foot pedals? What do you call the, them? Uh, foot rest. Foot rest foot for rest. the uh, the broomstick. And I learned that the only possible solution to stay on a flying broomstick is it's magnetic underpants. Yes. With, of course with the is. metal. <laughs> You've got to have the metal broom, otherwise it's a real problem. Just no help whatsoever. Your thighs just stick together. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for the Spitballers. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.